everybody, it's Tyler here at Kettering One, checking in team number 3542. Speed coming out of Temperance, Michigan, and I'm, I'm with uh, Olivia, Tyler, and Hunter. And we're going to be talking about, I love the look of this robot, a great aesthetic design, but it performs really well too. Of course, talking about this over bumper intake, going into their unique indexing system we'll talk about on the shooter and climber. All this and more coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now, supported by Stryker Careers. If you are a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many first alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Competition season is here. Head on over to thebluelines.com to catch all the events each week. Don't forget to submit your clips of the week to discord.gg forward slash first updates now. Vote in the FRC Top 25 and play in our free fantasy pick'em. Catch fun shows live on Mondays and Tuesdays at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. So Tyler, we're going to start out with your intake on your robot. Talk to me about this uh, over the bumper intake, why you chose to go this route, and any uh, iterations throughout the season as well. All right, so we went with the linear intake this year because it's pretty simple. It just goes out over the bumper. We use the bumper to bring the ball in, just to smooth over the bumper intake. So starting off here, we have a little few flex wheels to bring it in. It's powered by this bag motor right here. So as this spins, it spins this one and this one. This one is floating, and this one is fixed. They're both polycarbonate tubes with surgical tubing slid over them. This gives the ball the most grip, but also the lightest. So. Our linear intake is powered by some air cylinders that are tucked back in here, also here. So when this is all charged up, we start like this, and then we'll intake, we'll come out, that folds out, and then picks up the ball and brings it on in. When you were looking at the uh, game design and, and the challenge, what made you think of like, hey, we want to do a linear intake, that's going to be best for our team? Well, in 2019, we did a similar linear intake, but it was it folded out instead of pushed out, and we had a lot of problems, but we liked the design, and it really brought out the balls over the bumper really well. So we decided this year we just go with the linear and take straight out instead of all the folding and flexing components, and so far it's proven very well. Yeah, definitely. Seeing on the field looks like it's been great for you guys so far. Uh, let's keep moving on your robot, going into your indexing and shooting. Who's going to be covering that? So Olivia, tell me a little bit more about it. Alrighty, so our... Shooter can come all the way down here to pick up our balls. From there, our blue wheels will turn on and suck them in. And then they'll go into our gray wheels. And those will shoot back. And if you can see, we have a limit switch in the very back of the robot. That'll hit and our pneumatic cylinder on the back will turn on and it'll stop these back wheels. From there, we'll grab another ball, doing the same thing, and we'll have a limit switch right there that'll shut off the front wheels. So are you able to grab two balls at once, or do each time do you have to articulate that back? Uh, we can grab two balls at once. As long as our intake is out, this will be on and moving. Makes sense there. And then, uh, you know, we've seen these types of designs before, but I haven't seen too many of these for Rapid React. Uh, what made you want to choose uh, this type of route for Rapid React? So we wanted to go this way um, just because we wanted to prove ourselves to have learned something from our 2020 season when we had a turret. Um, so programmed it a little differently, added a few different motors, and it has worked out in our favor. Yeah, definitely. See it on the field. It's been looking great. Uh, so far in that. Uh, from your shooter-wise, do you do anything from uh, like a programming standpoint or is it just all like you just kind of dead reckon and try to figure out how to shoot it in? Okay, so our shooter actually gets zeroed like this and we can have a forward shot and a backward shot. And we do some of the same synchronizing with our pneumatic cylinders and our limit switches uh, to help control how fast we actually shoot the balls. Let's start to wrap up in your robot. We'll go into your climber, talk more about uh, some of the design and process of that, Hunter. Tell me more about it. So essentially the way our climber works is that currently these are zip tied in order to keep them in place, but these two are going to shoot up once we get close enough in order to grab onto the first rung. And then if you want to get over here, linear actuators will move in order to bring these forward, change our sense of balance, and then have us backwards in order for these to extend and then grab the next rinse and repeat. 
The linear actuators are made of 16th inch polycarbon because it's much lighter and less expensive than using metal. Motor turns gear, gear turns actuator, can move. From a timing perspective, when you're looking at uh, the Rapid React game, what is your optimal amount of time to get on this reversal run? Like, what, when you were like designing, you're like, hey, we want to get up in X amount of seconds. So we wanted to be able to start just merely when Endgame does and then be done before the timer stops, obviously. Timing was very much a high priority in figuring out how we wanted to make the climber go, and consistency was in the equation, too. Well, 3542 speed. Thanks a lot for taking the time to tell us about your robot. Good luck during the competition season, and uh, we'll see how you do here at Kettering 1. Thanks a lot. Thanks to Stryker Careers for their support in this video. First, alumni and mentors are making Stryker a top priority for their internships and careers. That's because Stryker knows that those in first are the leaders and innovators of tomorrow. If you want to help make the world a better place by creating life-saving medical devices and technology, get started at careers.stryker.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.